Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, Addison Sioni, please come up for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Good morning. I would like to welcome Dr. Massimino, Mayor McCormick, Councilwoman Meehan, Assembly Speaker Coughlin, Mr. Sedana, and members of faculty, parents, and students to the 2023 Colonia Middle School National Junior Honor Society induction ceremony. The NJHS is the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition program, and we are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the CMS faculty for successfully fulfilling their candidacy requirements. Our chapter's proud history dates back to the 1960s, and today's ceremony reinforces the emphasis on excellence that we represent for our school and community. In addition to the strong academic records, which established the eligibility for membership, our chapter members take leadership in many student organizations. They are role models for their peers, and serve our school and community through various activities. Whether it's aiding the local animal shelter, raising funds for the Colonia Independent Club, or collecting fidget toys for special needs students, our members answer the call. In closing, always remember that induction to Honor Society is a beginning, not an end. You are well on your way to making wonderful contributions to our world and leaving a legacy that will carry on for future generations for Colonia students. Congratulations to all of you. Please continue to make your school, teachers, parents, and most importantly, yourself proud. Thank you. I would like to now call up to the podium our principal, Mr. Short. Good morning and welcome to Colonia Middle School on this very special day. We are here to celebrate these amazing students being inducted into the National Junior Honor Society. I am so grateful we can all be here together to celebrate. First, I would like to acknowledge and thank all of our dignitaries who made time to be with us today to celebrate you. We have with us our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Massimino. Board of Education member, Mr. Sedana. <laughs> Mayor McCormick. <laughs> Councilwoman Meehan. <laughs> Assembly Speaker Coughlin. <laughs> and a former student from Colonial Middle School who is currently the Vice President of the National Honor Society at Colonia High School, Mr. Patrick Kelly is with us. So role models, you are all role models. And you're role models for our school because of everything that you have done here, all right? It takes a lot of hard work to get to this point being inducted into the National Junior Honor Society. So it's very, very important for you to be role models, which you are, 
But it's also very important to have role models. And I want to talk a little bit about our dignitaries who will be speaking shortly, a little bit about their background and why I think they're wonderful role models to be with us today. Dr. Massimino has his uh, doctorate degree from Rutgers University. He leads one of the largest school districts in the state of New Jersey. Mr. Sedano is a Board of Education member. He is also very, very successful in the financial services industry, and he also owns a local business, a local dance studio. And he was here uh, just yesterday and one time prior giving his time to support our students. Mayor McCormick, we know how wonderful Mr. Mayor McCormick is and his wonderful uh, personality, but he is also an expert in accounting with advanced, advanced degrees at one time was the treasurer of the state of New Jersey. Councilwoman Meehan has built a very, very successful local business, The Corner, which we all read and we love and supports everything that we do here. Assembly Speaker Coughlin is one of the highest ranking officials in the state of New Jersey. He's also a very, very successful attorney who runs his own practice. These are role models that we look up to and anything I have ever asked of any of them, they are always there to support our school. And what they have all have in common is giving back. Giving back to our community and supporting our students. So you are role models, you do a wonderful job, but let's acknowledge the role models that are here to support you today. I certainly have to acknowledge our wonderful advisors, Mrs. Guida and Mrs. Glusky. Mrs. Glusky, unfortunately, had a death in the family. She's not able to be here with us today. But I want to thank them for all of their hard work and for their leadership leading all of you. This is a very, very special day, and it's all about you. So I want to acknowledge our wonderful advisors and working with the committee that goes through the selection process. So thank you to our advisors. Now, if you know me, you know the message you always get from me, nothing is more important than family. So let's talk a little bit about your most important role models. Your parents, your guardians, your families, without their love and their unwavering support, you cannot get to days like this. So let's give them the round of applause they deserve for all their support for you. And as, as principal of this school, I want to thank all of you. You are amazing, and I'm so happy you're with us today. Most importantly, to these students, we are here to celebrate you. This is your day. It is so well deserved, and it is a culmination of hard work and dedication. We know we have all faced some adversity over the past few years. You know, as a society, we faced a pandemic. And this is when you were finishing up elementary school, making the transition to middle school. And what is so remarkable about this group of young people is they held themselves to an unwavering standard of excellence. When others may have made excuses, this group never, ever did. They always kept those standards at the very highest level for themselves. Being inducted into the National Junior Honor Society means you are the best of the best for middle school students. It is the gold standard. Members have become presidents, leaders in all fields. You are the future superintendents, the future assembly speakers, the future mayors, the future successful small business owners. With determination and hard work, there is truly nothing that you cannot accomplish. I like to highlight former students here just to give you an example of some of the great things that former Colonial Middle School students are doing. We recently had a law fair here, and one of our former students went on to graduate college receive his law degree. He's now a partner in his own law firm, and he represents 
very, very well-known uh, NFL talent and talent in the music industry. That's just an example of a former student here and what they have achieved, all right? The sky is the limit for you. It really is. This year, six of our current members have been nominated for an Outstanding Achievement Award through the national organization. Congratulations to Isabella Da Silva, Shane LaPietra, Joseph Massimino, Sofia Montesinos, Rashida Paranjabe, and Camilla Westcott. Congratulations. We expect those results by the end of May, and we look forward to many, many more nominations to come in the future. One of the initiatives our National Junior Honor Society took on this year was a fundraiser to support an exhibit on local black history. This culminated with a trip to the Independent Club of Colonia right across the street, and all of our NJH members, NJHS members attended. It really was an amazing experience. Always remember to continue to make giving back to your community a priority. I recently came across a quote I found fitting for this year's ceremony. The most successful people see adversity not as a stumbling block, but as a stepping stone to greatness. I truly see greatness for each and every one of you. I congratulate you and thank you for all you do to make Colonia Middle School such a special place. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Short. At this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Massimino to the podium, please. Thank you very much. I want to thank Mr. Short, um, all the faculty advisors, all the people that put a lot of effort into making the National Junior Honor Society induction ceremony work. Um, I'd like to thank the parents, the families, all of you in the audience. Uh, it's great to see so many familiar faces. This is my home too, so it's, it's nice to be home and, and see everyone and, and celebrate with you. I'd like to thank my uh, fellow dignitaries. I work with them hand in hand. They do a lot of good things for this community and a lot of good for the town, and, and I appreciate their efforts and, and their colleagues. Uh, the work they do on a daily basis, I just I can't speak enough about it. I don't have a speech written. I don't like to write my speeches down. I like to speak from the heart and, and give the message that I think they need to hear. The students before you understand what rigor looks like. They do well in school. They understand what service looks like. They give back to the community. They understand what leadership looks like. I can go through the pillars. I can go through those characteristics. They check every box. I'm not here because they're they're good students or they're good athletes or they're good musicians. I'm here to celebrate them because they're good people. And I think if there's one thing our world needs, it's more good people. Them being good people is a testament to everybody in the audience. So at some point today, I want to make sure all of you seated up here that were inducted and that are getting inducted say thank you to the people at home. That is a support system that you have relied on and that you should continue to rely on. The message that I have given my children since they could probably remember is that pressure is a privilege. I say that with the idea that I think this generation has more pressure put on it than any generation before it. I did not grow up with social media. Thank God. I'm sure there's many of you in the audience that think back to what your middle school, high school, and college years looked like and are thankful there was not Facebook or Instagram or phones that took pictures. That being said, our children, our students, have no option but to navigate that. And I think that creates an undue pressure on them that we can't possibly understand. And I said that with the idea that when my iPhone doesn't work, I give it to one of my children. There is just a lot of moving parts. The reason why I have told my children that pressure is a privilege is because you can do two things with a privilege. Someday you'll have your license and you'll understand what this means a little bit more. You can celebrate a privilege. It's your opportunity to do something and have fun. The flip side to privileges are they can be suspended, they can be paused, they can be halted. 
My message to you is when that pressure starts creeping up on you, and it invariably will, people that are highly motivated, high achievers tend to feel that pressure more than others. I need you to pause. There are ways that you will fight through different sticking points in life, but you have to acknowledge the pressure that exists to appropriately deal with it. When you pause, it allows you an opportunity to think instead of just reacting. What I would encourage you to do when those moments hit is to go to the people that sit, are sitting behind us and lean on them. When you have to make a phone call, make the phone call. When you have a question, ask the question. When you're just not sure, say out loud that you're just not sure. That's okay. There's no doubt the good people you are. We know your many talents. You would not be inducted or be part of this organization if you weren't. I want to see you have balance. The hardest thing in my life to achieve, and I, and I think I speak for most people, is balance. Right? We go to work, we go to school, we go to sporting events, we go to school events, we go to family events. There's homework, there's responsibilities, there's chores. There are chores still, right? Okay. All of those things start to add up. Make sure when they add up, they make sense to you and you find balance with them. When you don't, that's the time to pause. You deserve the gift of balance because that gives us the best version of you. The world needs the best version of you. The people behind you need the best version of you. So make sure when you're not sure about what that looks like, you pause and you ask the people that love and support you because they will always be the people that you need to speak to. I share this day of celebration with you as parents. I'm not gonna call anybody out because I will get yelled at at home. I am beyond proud. I'm thankful that I married well and they turned out the way they did. But ultimately, I say thank you. It is an absolute privilege to serve you, to work with you, to work for you. I celebrate parents as you will today. Please take that time and make this celebration and acknowledgement what it should be. This is an amazing accomplishment. I, I pray they take it with them as they move forward into high school. I look forward to the many things you will do. I'll be here watching, smiling, and cheering you on. Thank you for letting me be part of today. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Rasmino. At this time, I would like to call up Assembly Speaker, Mr. Craig Coughlin. A surprise change to the order of speaking. Nice, thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it is, is truly a privilege to be here with you this morning in this day of real celebration, celebrating your success, celebrating your accomplishment, uh, celebrating the fact that you have such an incredible support network, celebrating the fact that we all come together. That's how we know it's such a big deal, right? There's a couple hundred people in this room who came together, parents who took off time. Uh, Patrick got to get out of school to come over here. It's a pretty big deal. McCormick wore his best suit. Life is really good. Um, because this is a really big deal, uh, it's, a, it's a big deal to be part of the National Junior Honor Society. It's a momentous occasion. Uh, and for those of us who are not your family, who have not witnessed all of the success and, and hard work that you have uh, achieved, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really nice feeling to know that the future of this township is in such good hands. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a journey that, though, is still beginning for you. As you'll move on and you'll, you'll try to be in the honor society when you get to high school, uh, they feature some of the things that, that you have already demonstrated success at. Scholarship and service, character and leadership. Uh, and they had, but here, there is that element of community service. Now, as a leader and as someone who's committed to their community, um, you have some burdens that go along with that. Burdens, of course, that produce opportunities. In the classroom, in the cafeteria, on the bus, and online is something as uh, Superintendent Dr. Massimino reflected, people my age didn't have to worry about standing up for other people online. But you do. 
And you can, and we know you can, because you've, you've been admitted into the National Junior Honor Society, because you've demonstrated that you care about your fellow students, that you care about the work that you do as a student, that you care about your community, and that you're real leaders. And leadership is important. Uh, nothing happens without leadership. Nothing happens without hard work. Nothing happens without commitment. And all of you have demonstrated that. That's something I know the folks in the back of the room are incredibly proud of. Congratulations, Dr. Massimino, and your, your daughter being ad admitted here today. And to all of you, um, they're a reflection of what you have taught them. And today is a really d a day of great pride um, for a parent, for a grandparent, for guardians, for the people who care about you and who have helped shape you into the people uh, that you are today. And so for all of us to come together, uh, it is a special time. And so let me say first and foremost, thank you. Thank you for demonstrating the best of what a student can be. And thank you uh, for the role that you're going to play uh, as leaders in the community in the years and decades uh, to come. You know, there is dignity uh, in every single person. Uh, and showing compassion is something that will uh, make a difference in people's lives throughout the course of yours. Simple things often change people's lives. And you have the opportunity to do that. And we know you're capable of it. So today, let's celebrate all of that. Let's celebrate the fact that this community is so fortunate to have such tr incredibly talented students. Let's celebrate the fact that parents are good role models for, for their students. Let's celebrate the fact uh, that your future is as bright as can be. And let's celebrate uh, and enjoy because one of the things you should do is enjoy the fruits of your labor, the fruits of your success, and the fact that so many people recognize how special you are. So congratulations once again. Thank you for all that you have done. I look forward to being here when you get on, inducted into the National Honor Society in high school uh, and to watching f in the decades to come the success that you'll bring to your lives, to your family, and to our community. So thank you all very much. It's a privilege to be with you this morning. Thank you so much. Um, I would like to now introduce um, our board member, Mr. Sedana. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you, first of all, for having me up here. That, after Dr. Massimino and uh, Speaker Coughlin, it's a hard act to follow. I'll share a small story with you when I was inducted into the National Honor Society and uh, changed the way I thought. So the story goes something like this. There was a, a little child and a wise old man in a village. And everyone said that the wise old man had all the answers. He knew everything and anything that you asked him. So the child said, I'm going to outwit him. The child caught a little bird in his hands. And he said, I'm gonna, I'll go to the wise man and ask him what's in my hand. And he might guess that it's a bird. And then I'll ask, I'll ask the wise old man, what, what color is the bird? And you know, the bird was blue. So the wise old man said, rightfully, that it's a blue bird. The last question that the child decided he would ask the wise old man is, is the bird alive or not? That's where it gets a little dark. So the wise old man thought for a while. He smiled. And he said, son, the bird is in your hands. You can do what you will with it. So your future is in your hands. You've made great choices. You've come here. I applaud you for that. I applaud the parents back there and people who are supporting you. So a round of applause for them. But as Dr. Massimino very beautifully put it, pressure is a privilege. And that privilege comes with a choice. So the bird is in your hands. Your future is in your hands. You can open up your hands and let it fly. And that's what I wish you do, and I hope you do, and I pray you do, and I look forward to seeing you guys grow up and become future leaders of our town, of our country, and uh, everything in between. So thank you very much for having me up here. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you to Mr. Short. I have to say, um, I have been inspired the by the dignitaries on this stage, and I'm very proudly a Colonial graduate, so thank you.
Thank you. I would like, at this time, I would now like to introduce Mayor McCormick. Thank you very much. You know, Principal Short said there may be a future mayor in this audience here. There's no rush. <laughs> Take your time. High school, college. I'd advise med school, grad school, law school. Keep going. Let's see, that's about 14 years from now. That's a good deal, 14 years from now. That'll work. Uh, I want to congratulate Mr. Short. He's like the energizer bunny of, of principals. Uh, I share an office with my chief of staff, and it's at least once a week the secretary comes in and says, Principal Short's on the phone. He has direct contact with us, whether it's like you heard about the independent club or the composting or all the different things he's got going on here at Colonial Middle. I think he's terrific. So thank you, Mr. Principal. And I want to congratulate our superintendent. He's a little humble. Uh, it's Joseph and it's Juliana, by the way. That's his kids' names. He didn't mention them. He thinks he's, he, he's afraid, but he mentions them everywhere else, and he's always talking about you guys. And he, when he goes, I was with him in Island Middle. I was with him in Avenel Middle for the NJHS. And in each case, he talks about being a parent just like your parents in the audience with kids the same age as you, and he's immensely proud of both of you and what you've accomplished. So congratulations to Dr. Massimino and his wife. So you've done something here that you are gonna have to do for the rest of your life if you wanna succeed, and that is you have distinguished yourself from your peers. Your, many of your friends are not here. Many of your classmates are not here. Many of the, the teammates on the sports teams or in the band or in the arts classes are not here, but you are. And that's because you've distinguished yourself. And if you want to be successful in life, this is only the beginning in seventh and eighth grades. You cannot lose track of the big prize, which is in four years, you need to be, you want to be, you need to be on the stage for the National Honor Society. No one will remember the National Junior Honor Society four years from now. You need NHS, and you need to accomplish that, and you need to start thinking about that and continue the success you've had in all the ca categories, character, scholarship, citizenship, and the two most important ones, I think, leadership, and the most important one is service. Someday, in about four years plus, you're gonna fill out a college application, many college applications, and someone's gonna look at that piece of paper and have to decide if you're getting into their school or not. And they're never going to meet you. You'll never meet them but they're gonna make a key decision on your future just from that one piece of paper. And when that one piece of paper says National Honor Society, they know all about you, even though they'll never meet you. Because they know you're the type of person that your teachers and your principals looked at and evaluated and said, yes, this young man or this young woman belongs in the National Honor Society. And they're gonna know all those traits and especially, like I said, community service. They're gonna know that you're somebody who cares about others more than you care about yourself. And that's who they want in their college or university. You're gonna be up against kids that all have great grades. They all have terrific SATs, just like you do. But when you can put National Honor Society on that piece of paper, it says everything about you. So relish today, be proud, celebrate, but start thinking about what that piece of paper is gonna look like in four years and build it up so that someone's gonna look at that and say, I want this young man or lady in my school. And it starts with National Honor Society. So I'll be here in four years. I'll see you all on the stage at Colonia in May of 2027. Deal? All right, thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you. Uh, at this time, I would now like to introduce Councilwoman Ms. Debbie Meehan. Good morning. I'm very honored to have been asked to join you today to, gra to congratulate the students who are being inducted into the 2023 Colonial Middle School National Junior Honor Society. 
to be inducted into the National Junior Honor Society should mean a great deal to each and every one of you because it means that you did something better for the community and better for yourselves. As I look out into the audience, I see so many familiar faces. Familiar because you have volunteered to help me with various communities that I've done here in the community. Whether you baked cookies and made homemade cards for senior citizens for Valentine's Day who were alone, whether you helped with the Have a Heart food drive at the Evergreen Center, collected and sorted toys at the VFW, and helped to make baskets for family in needs, or simply stuffed plastic Easter eggs for our Easter event for little children here in Colonia to have a nicer Easter. You may not think those small gestures of kindness matter, but they really do, because it helps people and it helps build a community to give it strong roots and create a better and more beautiful place for us all to live. So continue to keep your grades up, continue to be involved in your community, and always spread kindness. It will lead you to wonderful places in your lives. Congratulations to all of you, and best of luck in high school for the students that are going to high school, and congratulations, mom and dad. And finally, at this time, I would like to introduce our uh, Colonia High School National Honor Society Vice President, Patrick Kelly. I love opportunity. It's an opportunity for me to be here now today speaking in front of you. I, it's a learning experience. It's practice for when I run for mayor. <laughs> <laughs> but I truly believe that because of the hard work of Dr. Massimino, my high school experience was filled with opportunity and gave me the best experience I could ask for. I honestly do not even remember when I was inducted to National Junior Honor Society. So the mayor actually said it beautifully, which Maybe not be a good thing for my election, but it's all right. No one's going to read on your college application, National Junior Honor Society. As someone who just went through the application process, it's challenging, it's stressful, and it's hard. And being a part of the high school National Honor Society is something to really be proud of. But you have opportunity in, fr in front of you. And uh, before I came to high school, when I was inducted into National Junior Honor Society, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I didn't even know I wanted to be involved in my high school community. And I would say I got a late start to my involvement uh, coming with the pandemic. Uh, right after the pandemic is when I really started to get involved. But you guys have a great opportunity in front of you. You are going into high school. You're going to be there, hopefully, in person all four years. And you could really take up leadership opportunities. In high school, there are so many forms to find your specific, unique characteristics and surround yourselves with, with like-minded people. Colonia, well, uh, Woodbridge Township high schools, in general, are the best because they bring in people from all worlds, from low-income people to high-income people to privileged and not privileged people. And you can meet people, like-minded people, who could challenge you and drive you to be the best. And Colonia High School also offers a lot of opportunity. You're going to be inducted into uh, many honor societies, like history and math, but National Honor Society stands out because you're well-rounded. You're not only good in one subject, English or math. You're good in all subjects. You're academically strong. You're involved in your school community and local community. You give back to the people who got you where you are. And it's a proud achievement. And when you put National Honor Society on your college application, it shows that you're well-rounded. So use this opportunity and do not take it for granted. And as the world needs more well-rounded people, as you can see the mayor, he's a CPA and the mayor. Uh, to be successful in this world, you need to understand the fundamentals and basics of many things. In the 21st century, as Dr. Massimino mentioned, we have social media. If you're go, no matter what career field you go into, you need to understand technology. You need to understand business. You need to understand 
the fundamentals of everything to be successful. And that's the motto of National Honor Society. And the motto of Colonial High School, character, community, and commitment. You need to be committed to yourselves, your parents, and your community. I thank everyone for where I am today, and without the opportunity that was uh, presented to me within the high school, that I wouldn't be able to go to college, become, uh, study what I want to study, and have all the experience I have under my belt. Being a leader in my school community, uh, through student council, other honor societies, clubs, sports, and everything. And Colonia High School and Woodward Township really does have everything for its students. And it's the best town around. <laughs> Thank you. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Colonia Middle School chapter of the National Junior Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the four qualities that serve as standards for the society. Members of the chapter will now review these qualities for the candidates. We begin with scholarship. Isabella Rocha, please come to the podium. Okay, you got this. Here you go. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to success, and it can only be acquired in one way, through diligence and effort. We understand that learning is the light that illuminates the future. We will now be speaking on service. Please come up to the podium, Valentina. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or without recognition is the quality we seek. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and the abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. For the reading of leadership, Elise, please come up to the podium. Okay, you got this. Okay. Leadership. Leadership should have a positive influence on school. Leaders take initiative in class and school activities while striving to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is a sacrifice. Being willing to put the interests of others in front of our own. Leaders with self-confidence that are willing to go forward when others hesitate are integral to society. For the reading of citizenship, Asta, please come up to the podium. We are obligated to live up to the democratic ideals given to us by the founders of our country. The responsibilities each of us has to our community, state, and nation are many. We are bound to live up to the laws and guidelines which unite us. Good citizens work together to improve not only our lives, but the lives of all of our fellow citizens. 
We need to remain strong and vigilant in protecting the freedoms and rights that have been granted to us and prevent injustice from entering our lives. And for the reading of character, Joseph, please come up to the podium. Character is the force within each individual which distinguishes that person from others. It gives each of us our individuality. Without it, no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is, a, it is this force of character that guides one through life and when once developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action, striving daily to make the right choice. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to, to others. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. Ready? Okay, good. Camilla Westcott, please come up. Okay, Camilla, deep breath, okay. First row, please stand up. We will now introduce the eighth grade current members of National Junior Honor Society. Isabella Caravano. Leah Chalua. Addison Sioni. Haley Conklin. Christian Cody. Isabella Da Silva. <laughs> Mia De Fritas. <laughs> Valentina Diaz. <laughs> Shane La Pietra. Elise Loy. First row, you may be seated. Second row, please stand up. Joseph Massimino. Sophia Montesinos. Rashida Paranjape. Asta Patel. Sia Patel. Isabella Rocha. Right? 
Sarah Vieira. And myself, Camilla Westcott. Please be seated. Let's have a round of applause for our current members. I would now like to call up Sarah for our eighth grade inductees. First row, please stand. Daniel Boatwright. Monica Bohorquez. Emma Caminero. <laughs> Madeline Kaminsky. Obey Ganesh. Rebecca Guillen. Alicia Joffrey. <laughs> Prajit Carr. Eliza Kayani. <laughs> Sydney Lewis.
Abigail Natter. Zachary Nunez. First row, please be seated. Second, please rise. Eric Panapinto Landy. Anthony Reynoso. Julia Rodriguez. Iman Sadeh. <laughs> Sina Shaw. Thomas Selecki. Tonvi Trivedi. Sophia Valencia. Congratulations. And Mia Vargas. Please be seated. Mm -hmm. 
Let's have a round of applause for our eighth grade inductees. And now for our seventh grade inductees, Shane, will you please come to the podium? First row, please rise. Noah Abreu. Angela Arganza. Angelica Arganza. Mackenzie Ayers. Makana Barrientos. Salvatore Bavona. Sarah Boris. Jake De Silva. Olivia Gaffney. Ebrar Khalil. Octavia Konikowski. First row, please be seated. Second row, please rise. Madison Marks. Juliana Massimino. Lucas Mortagua. <laughs> Prutha Patel. Kayla Pyers. <laughs> Zoe Poznanski.
Michaela Ramos. Jace Rodriguez. Tanya Shah. Jasmine Shaheda. Second row, please be seated. Last row. Last row, please rise. Milika Singh. Deanna Sabrero. Gregory Sabrero. <clears throat> Brian Tirado. Alessia Tissio. Jordan Totten. and Juliana Trujillo. Last row, please be seated. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. And let's have one more round of applause for our seventh grade inductees. I would like to now call up Sophia Montesinos for our National Junior Honor Society Pledge. Please rise. <laughs> Only students, please. <laughs> Please repeat after me. I pledge myself to uphold, I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society to which I have been selected. I pledge to maintain high scholastic standing 
While I strive to be a model student at all times. While I strive to be a model student at all times. I pledge to hold as fundamental and worthy. I pledge to hold as fundamental and worthy. An untarnished character. An untarnished character. To endeavor intelligently and courageously. To endeavor intelligently and courageously. To be a good leader and a good citizen. And to give myself freely in service to others. And to give myself freely in service to others. I will be loyal to my school. I will be loyal to my school. And dedicate my time and energy in doing all of the above. And dedicate my time and energy in doing all of the above. I shall prove myself worthy of a place in the National Junior Honor Society. I shall prove myself worthy of a place in the National Junior Honor Society. Please be seated. And now, for our closing remarks, I would like to call up our principal, Mr. Short. Well, everyone did an amazing job. Just a, a few reminders before we wrap up. Uh, once we conclude the ceremony, there are some refreshments located at the table in the back of the cafeteria. Once we conclude the ceremony, you know, we'll take some time to take some pictures. We'll be around and, uh, you know, enjoy the time with your families uh, for a few minutes until we have to start setting up for, for our lunches. Also, just one additional reminder, uh, for any parents and guardians who are planning on signing their child out and taking them with them, in the back corner by door number 12, if you look back there, Mrs. Sacco, Mr. Scrano, please make sure you just sign your child out uh, when, when you take them. All other students who are not signed out obviously will be uh, returning to class. And, and then the last thing, we are going to begin uh, a tradition this year. Uh, we will be getting a group shot of, of all of our both inductees and, and current national uh, Junior Honor Society members. So once uh, we wrap up, all of our dignitaries will walk down, stand behind them, and Mr. Bernstein will get a nice shot uh, of everyone and we'll get that framed and we'll, we'll put that up in our building uh, and it will hang in here for, for future generations to see. So, uh, there you go, absolutely. So one final time, I would like to introduce the National Junior Honor Society inductees for Colonia Middle School 2023. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you.